morning. Happy Sunday. It is a bit of a weird thing waking up knowing that you have a new puppy to look after. I woke up really early this morning, especially <laughs> considering, well, I wanted to get my vlog up um, today. I normally upload on Sundays. So last night I edited it and this morning, so I got it up on time. I normally post 9.30 on a Sunday morning. So if you haven't seen me, <laughs> going to pick up Leo who is the new puppy then um, you can watch that because that's a cute one. Dying to go and see him this morning he stayed with my mum last night and um, I know I keep saying he's my puppy technically he's my mum's but considering that I basically convinced her to get a dog and my sister and I are going to be the ones doing the training <laughs> He's technically also mine. Because of social distancing and everything at the moment, we're only really meeting in parks. So I'm gonna go to the park today and take Duke and then hopefully kind of socialize the two of them together. I had a really good tip actually from a viewer that said that if I wanted them to kind of get to know each other's smells, rub one sock on each dog and then give the dog the other one socks. So I've been doing that. Duke slept with his sock last night. He wasn't so interested in the sock, to be honest. Normally he's down to play with socks all the time, so <laughs> we'll see what he's like today. I'm just getting ready. And I have to say, putting on makeup every day, apart from a few days here and there, where I kind of really am having a super, super relaxed day or doing loads of exercise or something, I don't know. I've just loving been wearing makeup every day. It makes me feel good, it kind of boosts my self-esteem gives me a little sense of normality right now, you know? Um, this palette, if I can find it, I'll link it down below because it is so beautiful. If you're a kind of similar skin tone to me, it will really work for you. It's so pretty, look at that. Oh, it's the By Terry CC palette. I'm using this shade as like a highlighter. It's great for kind of all over the skin. Can you guys see that? Oh, it's so pretty. Um, then let's do some lipstick. Lipstick always makes me feel amazing. I have so many favorites right now. These Rodeal, these are like the collagen lip boosts. They're amazing. Um, they look really nice on the skin. This one's actually really pretty. My Rodeal code is still available. Um, this one for 25% off. This is a gorgeous color. It makes your lips look really big. This is Champagne Showers. I actually find myself like dressing up for him. I dressed up to pick him up yesterday just because it's so exciting and it's something to look forward to and something to be excited about. So let's go decide what to wear today. I think I'm going to have to wear jeans and a hoodie or something because it doesn't look that nice outside. It's supposed to be sunny, but it's not. Let's go and get some jeans. Oh, looks bright, but don't be fooled. It's not. It is a grim day. Right. This is how I store all my jeans, I hang them all. I actually find that so much easier to get them. I used to have them all folded and it was so hard to get jeans and I would always just end up wearing the top ones. Whereas this way I feel like I can see them all so much better. And I definitely want some baggier jeans today. At one point, seeing as it's now basically June, I need to go through and sort this all out. I think I have too many jumpers in my wardrobe right now for June. I need to do a little switch out for um, summer. I was going to say winter. <laughs> switch out for summer. Okay, let's see what jeans I want. I might wear these, which are old, super old. Stella McCartney. They're my feel-good pair of jeans though because they have little little stars on them. And then in here, by the way, this is what I'm wearing today. <laughs> my super comfy, snuggly cashmere robe. I will, I, al I always, always, always wear this robe. It's my absolute favorite. It's um so snuggly. I wear it so much and I love the color. Right, let's see what hoodies we have down here. Ooh, this one's a fave of mine. I might wear this one, actually, this Fiorucci one. This one's quite fun. Or I have a cropped one, but I don't think it's the day for cropped hoodies. Or maybe it will get sunnier and then I'll regret it. Should I do a cropped hoodie? This cropped hoodie's so sweet. Um, I might do that. I was thinking this morning about making the first move and when I first got duped, that was like such a big decision. Mm -hmm. And how making the first move sometimes can be so daunting and it can end up being the best 
decision of your life. Sorry, I'm putting on my deodorant. And um, thinking about all the other times I've made the first move and like gone outside my comfort zone or pushed myself to do something. And as you guys know, I collaborate with Bumble and I am on Bumble, which is a dating app that, I'll tell you a bit of a song, where women make the first move. And I was thinking about all the first moves that I've made in my dating life. And actually the past two guys I've dated, either the first guy was on an app. I don't think even apps were so much of a thing then, but the first guy, I was the one to speak to him at the bar. It wasn't anything major. It was a really small first move, but I literally just said, are these drinks yours? And he was like, no, they're not. But I like, I wanted to strike up a conversation with him. It was like an excuse. <laughs> And the second time, um, actually I'll wear this perfume today, the second time was um, when I was going out with an ex of mine, it was on our first date, I think I basically like kind of hinted that I wanted him to kiss me. I really think now one of my whole kind of life mottos, not just to do with dating with everything, is that we are the driver of our lives and we need to be the one making the decisions and pressing the go button and taking what we want. I really think sometimes being being the driver, putting yourself out, out of your comfort zone a little bit can really make such a difference and really be life-changing in some ways. I mean, right now, we obviously can't and are unable to go on dates, which is why I would really recommend Bumble because it's an app and you can meet so many people, more than you would meet on the street or going out to clubs or bars or whatever we would normally be doing now to meet people. And women make the first move. So we get to be the ones in the driver's seat. We get to, one to be the ones to send messages first and, and initiate conversation first. So that is one of the really most exciting things about Bumble. I'll leave a link to Bumble down below. That's one of the most exciting things about Bumble for me. And if you are looking to kind of take control, take charge, go outside your comfort zone, push yourself a little bit, download the app and let me know what you think. And maybe something magical might happen. Oh, I have to say, actually, I'm a bit too hot for this jumper now. I just put it on, but it's still kind of humid outside. So if you're single and you're staying at home a lot like me right now, download Bumble, let me know what you think, and I really want to kind of empower you to take the plunge and make little changes in your day um, and that could lead to something big. All right, I feel like I've been getting ready for three days for a dog. <laughs> let me call Hannah and see where she's at. Hey. Hey, are we meeting there at one? Um, I won't be ready for one. Oh, are you getting ready for a dog too? Yeah. <laughs> I did the same! I did my makeup and my hair and everything. Yeah. Fine, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Everyone's too excited. <laughs> Do you think Leo knows that we're all doing our hair and makeup for him? Finally ready, out for the day. I have my little Fiorucci hoodie on that I got from Farfetch. Fendi bag, my favourite old Stella McCartney jeans, and my favourite trainers at the moment. These Givenchy ones, because they're so comfortable. I could live in them. Hello, mister. Are we going to go meet Leo now? Hello, hey, monkey. Good morning. Oh, you want to get down, don't you? Do you really holding it in? Oh, you're going to have to get it down. Do you want to get down? Look how big Duke looks in comparison. He looks huge now. Go be friends. Yeah. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Hi, Papas. Look at the sun shining so beautifully today. What happens when you have a puppy? <laughs> you just end up with like random dog toys in your pocket like this. It's kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> Look at your cute teeth. Why are your teeth, even your teeth are cute. Oh, oh, oh. Aww. Isn't he so soft, Mama Rachel, his fur? I don't think she can hear me so far away. <laughs> Never mind. Mama Rachel, you look very regal in this situation. Yeah. <laughs> Under this little, whatever this is. You absolute thief. If you want them, you have to come get them. Okay, come. Come on. Come on. Come here. This way, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> Hannah came to the park today with a really beautiful bag. It's like an Hermes 
dupe, I think. It's called Rue de Verny. Okay, whatever, I'll link it down below. My friend is not good. I love this colorway, it's so beautiful. <laughs> His personality's really come out today. He's been so playful and so licky. Are you very licky? You're very licky. Are you very licky? Are you very licky? Your tiny tongue. Oh, oh, hello. His paws are amazing. Look how small he is. He literally feels like I'm holding nothing. Whoa there, little mouse. Whoa. <laughs> okay, bye. Good morning, good morning. I said to myself that I would do something fun with my hair in lockdown. And that was nine weeks ago now, because it's officially week nine of lockdown and I haven't done anything fun to my hair. So I thought today was the day that I whipped out my old, so I haven't finished this bit, mermaid curlers. These are a great little babbler's tool and try something different for once. So let me redo this bit. I've had the most amazing long bank holiday weekend. I know in the US, you guys had a bank holiday weekend as well, um, a long weekend. So it's Tuesday this morning, but it feels like Monday because <laughs> we had yesterday off. And I've spent pretty much the whole weekend in the park, I'll be honest with you. Ooh, let's have a look at this. Wow. What do we think of this? funky tool. It's quite cool isn't it? I feel very beachy. I'm nowhere near a beach. I'm gonna put in my hair clips. These are my old skinny dip Amelia Liana ones. People always ask why I don't wear the jewellery. It's because I have such limited samples. The stock was so limited and it sold so fast that I kind of I treasure them and I don't wear them every day to be honest. Um, there. What do we think of that? Does that look a bit weird or cute? How crazy that right now is the last week of May. I feel like we're halfway through the year and that just blows my mind. And I was thinking last night because Sunday night is my most reflective time, pre the week beginning. And actually last night was Monday night, but because it was the last, because it was kind of the technically last day of the weekend because of the bank holiday, it was when I do the most of my thinking. I'm gonna put on some sun cream while I tell you. This is a new one from Revive. But anyway, reflecting on this week and being the last week of May got me thinking about this time last year and how at one point I was sort of counting down the days from last June and thinking like, okay, it's been one month, it's been two months, it's been three months and now it's actually been a whole year, which blows my mind. And if I think about last June, I was really a shell of myself and as a per person ment mentally and physically, fitness-wise, emotionally, everything. I was just a little shell of a person, really. And it, I would describe that so far in my life. I'm almost 28 now. That was definitely the rock bottom of my life. And even though I wouldn't wish that on anyone, anyone to be in the rock bo a rock bottom situation generally, the best thing about rock bottom, I'm getting very deep on my vlogs this week, aren't I? As I was saying, <laughs> the best thing about rock bottom is the only way is up. So if you feel like right now is the rock bottom of your life, take it from me. If you've hit rock bottom, the only way is up, which is the best thing about rock bottom. I know it's quite hard at the time, especially when people told me like, you know, now is gonna be such a time for change and blah, 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 and I would just be like wallowing and self-pity in my bed especially when people told me that it's kind of hard to see it yourself but now looking back I'm like oh my gosh rock bottom means that you can kind of rebuild your life in any way you want to be or any way you want to rebuild it and it's kind of motivating even though I didn't realize that at the time that's exactly what I was doing so what do we learn <laughs> rock bottom only way is up Moral of the day. Moral of the day. Story of the day. <laughs> I made a little in the style order recently because I wanted to try this amazing little Lorna set. It's Terry and it's so soft it literally feels like, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera but it honestly feels like I'm in my dressing gown. It's a little short and crop jumper set so you can kind of tuck in the jumper if you want to. I mean a bit neater than that but this is honestly so snug, so comfortable and feels way more luxurious than it is. It's still in stock in all the sizes so I'll link it down below if you're interested in getting something like this. Even just the shorts by themselves are amazing. This is honestly the perfect little short loungewear set 
the snuggly evenings i just could rub myself in the least creepy way possible it feels so soft and so snug i'll be honest the quality of this one isn't amazing but for what i was after i don't really mind i wanted a kind of off the shoulder jogger set you can kind of wear this on two shoulders or off one shoulder or off both shoulders if you even wanted to there was a little bit cropped sorry that's my bra peeping through i won't lie it's lot not luxurious quality um i think some high street brands like h m you really can't tell that much of a difference with the quality in the style these pieces i can tell the price of them if that makes any sense uh, they are super super affordable and the quality kind of reflects that i think it is a gorgeous set nonetheless it's exactly what i wanted the fit as well i wanted it kind of scrunched in under my bra i wanted it a bit off shoulder i love the color too and i wanted the joggers a bit like this sort of like cropped almost pant like joggers so i i am into this set i'm not blown away by the quality i think the other set the one I just tried on had much better quality and it felt much more luxurious and much more snuggly. But I think also this one's quite light. So if you did want to wear this out and about on the day when it's sunny, you could. This is my issue within the style is that you never really know with their pieces until you get them and try them on. Like this is amazing. This is a really beautiful little mint green light sort of muted duster. It's a gorgeous cardigan. It's super light. I would definitely wear it and chuck it over so many different things. I love the length of it as well. I think this is a real winner for me. It's super light but really cozy and really comfortable and the material's really soft as well. So it's so hit and miss within the style. I really have to sort of try on their pieces and then decide. Um, I can never really tell just from the model and the pictures. But anyway, this I love and I think I might even wear this today, although it might actually even be a bit hot. I might have to change into a dress, I think. I'm ready to go out. I've never worn this dress before. I think I got it around Christmas time and obviously I haven't really been in the sun since then. Um, it's this Pitusa dress. It's like a multicoloured dress it's so beautiful these shoes by the way right now you can get them around 35 percent off they're little pearly sandals i'll try and find a link to them and link them down below pair them with that i'm not so sure what to do about this dress because it is a bit see-through and i don't have an appropriate bra but the mesh of this kind of went really well with this so i put the two of them together and then also wearing one of my best ever pre-love bag purchases this one felt like that went really nicely with the dress too i'm also going to take my lily and bean bag here because i'm going to do some grocery shopping as well and um, this is one of my favorite bags it's around 100 pounds which is incredible because it looks so so luxurious and you can personalize them i'll link it down below because it's honestly such a durable bag it's one of my best ever bags i literally take it with me everywhere it's a beautiful day hey bubba what you doing hands here applying your sun cream hot tamales, hot tamales. i knew you were gonna say that what sun cream are you using it's actually one you got me like three years ago really yeah definitely gone off lancaster of lancaster yeah it's summer like no other what can you tell us about your otd yeah this dress is from Faithful. Yeah, it's so nice. And this bag is pretty sack. Pretty sack is the best. It's so cute. Is that an Hermes one, yeah? So sweet. Okay. Less shit in there right now, but. <laughs> Wait, I want to see your necklaces as well. Where's that green one from? I don't know. It's some random brand I found on Instagram. It's really nice. Lead training day. Come on, Ben. Come on. Hello, little doggies. witnessing my first ever attempt at mini donuts i got this professional um what is this even called i can't the word's gone from my head um it's like what you use for icing but i got it from amazon and i don't actually know how to stop it at the bottom i feel like there is a stopper somewhere but anyway i'm gonna try my first mini donuts it's a recipe i literally found on 
my YouTube homepage. But I've been using gluten free flour and I kind of, I changed it a bit. It's literally just flour and milk and baking powder. So I'm going to give this a go and see what happens. One. Ooh, no, stop. <laughs> okay, that was a fail already. Oh no, wait, that one actually is good. Oh wait, hold on. How do I stop this? One. No, stop. Okay, you know what? This needs to just relax, bro. I'm gonna try this again. This is my third batch now, and I keep trying and trying to make them better. However, they're not doing amazingly well, and I keep burning them. This is my third batch. They kind of look like mini chicken nuggets right now. I think I'm leaving them in a tiny bit too long, but they're getting somewhere, and they're a little bit long. They're not really round donuts. Here is a little combination of different batches. They kind of look more like mini churros than mini um, donuts. I think this recipe needs a bit of work, to be honest. If you aren't gluten-free, um, then I'll leave it down below and it's probably better if you use their recipe. Okay, I'm gonna take my little mini churros donut. I also made my own melted chocolate sauce. Can you see that? Dip it in. Oh, it's not bad. It's not unbelievable like I wouldn't give you the what I use the measurements and stuff because I don't think it's a maze but it's a very cute place to start little mini 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 minis I found a great way to use my leftover chocolate sauce got my banana ice lolly mmm I feel like one of those children that like gets so involved that they get chocolate all over the mouth oh my god wait I need a tissue but banana ice lolly dipped in chocolate sauce is a vibe in case you're wondering. Now, I've got that all off. Oh, missed a bit. Attached to my chin hairs. <laughs> in case you're wondering, because the banana ice lolly is so cold, the chocolate sauce freezes on it and then you just get to lick off. D do you ever get an ice cream and you get a layer of chocolate on the top and then you wish it was there? This is literally that. You just get to lick off the chocolate layer again and again and again until... You know, until the end of time, really. <laughs> I'm going to say bye to you now, and I'll see you on Sunday with another vlog from the rest of my week, and I will update you on the Duke and Leo situation. I hope you have a lovely week, and I'll see you then. Mwah. Bye, guys.